importance of TikTok. What do you think music theory actually is? For As Adam said in this video, there are a bunch of different definitions of what music theory is out there, but they all come together in what I'll explain in this video. For those who don't know me, hi, I'm Amy. I'm a music theorist. I've got a master's in it, and I'm currently working on my PhD in music theory and cognition at Northwestern. As a performer, arranger, composer, and theorist, my goal with this platform is to inspire, empower, and open minds musically with this platform. A brief etymology of the word theory is that it comes from the late Latin root theoria, meaning conception or mental scheme, and the Greek theoria, meaning contemplation, speculation, or looking at. So music theory basically just means thinking about music. This is manifested in many ways. There's now an entire field of music theory, of which I'm a part of, of people who just study, look for patterns in, and try to understand why and how we react to music in the ways that we do. Why are some songs bangers? Why do some flop? Why do we love to listen to sad music? Why are there common chord progressions? Why isn't it just random? These scholars who have noticed these patterns over the years have given names to them, like the ones that I just said, like chord progressions, um, specific chord names like dominant sevenths, minor seven flat five, also downbeats, upbeats, structure, form, verse, chorus, and so many names that are used in the music making process. We tend to think of this way of using music theory as the grammar of theory, and that's specifically how Adam defined theory in his video. But that's not super nuanced and leaves a lot of great information and opportunities for musical connection out because music theory also encompasses the ways that we all hear music differently. Some folks are more lyric oriented um, or melody oriented or they hear rhythm and meter more or not at all. We all have very different experiences with music, which means that we have many different lenses to look at music through. When we express the ways we experience music, we give other people the opportunity to feel the music the way that we do, like stepping into each other's shoes or putting on each other's glasses, but with sound. It can be a practice of empathy. But Adam isn't wrong here. Using terminology like you're dragging on the two is a way of using music theory for performance. That's still part of the realm of music theory. It's just not all there is to music theory. I'm going to make a follow-up video where I can draw pictures for you, but what I propose here is that instead of asking what is music theory and have everyone define it differently, a more nuanced and useful question to ask is how do you use music theory? It still gets to be the giant field that it is, but we don't have to limit it to the way that a single person uses it. So stay tuned for that follow-up when I talk more about what music theory is and how it's been used throughout the ages. I've got a really good metaphor planned for that.